Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about first the derivative and the tangents. So now I want to show you how to answer. The first thing we have this equation. So the question they want to find dy over dx. So here is about the figure in here. So if we do first the derivative for the both side, we have like this. So first the derivative of s square we have two s. This one we can apply about the product group of the derivative. That should be like this. So if we do first the derivative of y, we need to do first the derivative of a multiplied by b. Later that we do first the derivative of b multiplied by 8. So for this one, we do first the derivative of s multiplied by y. Later that we do first the derivative of y multiplied by s. This one we have 2y and first the derivative of y. This one that is about the constant. So you got 0 in here. So we need to simplify. First, the derivative of s, we have number 1. This one, we have first the derivative of y multiplied by s. This one, we have 2y and first the derivative of y. Now, we see that we have first the derivative of y. That is about dy over dx. So we need to arrange. We have first the derivative of y. We can do about factorization. Later that this one, I will put on the right in here. And now we divide both sides by this one. So the answer for question A. That should be like this. Question B. The ellipse has two horizontal tangents. So horizontal tangents, that should be in here and here. So on the question, they want to find the upper horizontal tangent light. So they want to find this light in here. So. If we want to find this line, that means dy over dx equals to number 0 because the, the horizontal line for first derivative, that's it, equals to number 0 in here. So that means we just have only this one equals to number 0. So I will put two s go to the right. So we have y equals to negative two s. So that means we go back to this equation in here. And now we need to change y into negative two s.
because we need to find the location of points of S so that we have the tangent line in here and here. But we need to select about this one. So that should be about the location S in the negative numbers in here based on the figure. So this one we need to simplify. So we have three s square equals to number nine. Later that we divide both sides by number three. So this one we have s equals to the square root of number three and s equals to negative with the square root of number 3 because we put the square root for the both side. So we just know that S should be smaller than number 0 because this is about negative. So we need to select about this one. So on the question, they want to find about Y. That means we have Y in here. And now we put this one, go back to this location. So we have y equals to negative number 2 multiplied by negative with the square root of number 3. So we have number 2 with the square root of number 3. So the answer for this one should be like this. On the question number 3, the eclipse has two vertical tangents. Vertical tangents that is about this one and this one. So they want to find the location of the right most. That means the right most that is in here. So to do about this one, we need to consider about this one. That means S plus 2y equals to number 0. So, because the question does is about s, so I will put 2y cone here. And now we need to use this about equation. Now we put negative 2y cone here and here. So if we simplify everything, we will have 3y square equals to number 9. So we have y square equals to number 3. We put the square root for the both side. And we have like this. But on the question, this location in here, that is about S is greater than number 0. So we need to find S to make sure that they can create the positive number. So that means we put this one going here. And we will have number 2 with the square root of number 3. And that is the answer for all the question in here. This is the end. Thank you for watching.